All right, one of the units that we're going to look at in this chapter is percent by mass and percent by volume. So often they will show it percent um, m over m because they're telling you it's a mass over mass or percent v over v or sometimes they'll just say percent. Um, you will see this most often when you are reading um, labels and in this case we have a vinegar label over here and it's telling us that it's 5% acidity. And what that means is that, um, depending on if this is by mass or by volume, it would be 5 milliliters of acid per 100 milliliters of acid, or 5 grams of acid per 100 milliliters, or 5, 5 grams of acid per total of 100 grams of solution. So this is pretty simple to figure out. In fact, we're going to figure out how much, um, how much stuff is in 5% acidity, uh, vinegar and the, the acid that is in vinegar is acetic acid. All right, to find the total um, of the percent, you take, uh, we're going to look at first the mass um, divided by the total mass times 100. You could also do the volume divided by the total volume. times 100. They both would get you a percent. And it's just like the percents that we found before. And if I said that we had, uh, let's say we have 10 grams of HCl in um, 100 total grams of solution, this would be a really simple problem to solve. We would take our 10 grams divided by our 100 grams times 100, and you'd get a 10% solution. Now it's important to remember that this bottom one is per solution and the top is the solute. Um, a lot of the issue that we're going to encounter later when we're solving is remembering whether it's a solute or solution or solvent. Alright, let's go back to that 5% um, acid that it said on the label for vinegar. And what we're going to do is we're going to take apart what this means and help you understand a little bit more what information they're giving you. 5% is telling me that I have 5 grams of acid for every 100 grams of solution. Now, I need to realize that my 100 grams of solution is composed of um, 5 grams of the acid, which is my solute, and 95 grams of water, which is the understood solvent. And those two com added together would get me my total mass of the solution. Another way you could approach this is by um, volume. We would have 5 milliliters of acid, and we would also have 5 milliliters of acid and the 95 milliliters of water. This will help us out later when we're asking to convert between percent and into one of the other units that we might have to find.